We have often hypothesized here upon our channel that there was once an ocean-going, globally powerful advanced civilization, an antediluvian, as in pre-flood, advanced multi-nation civilization, whose masons were somehow capable of the seemingly impossible moving enormous stones via now lost knowledge, creating the many unexplainable megalithic sites we all still gaze upon with awe. A civilization which the evidence would suggest was suddenly and mysteriously swept away. Yet testament to their building abilities and the enormous megaliths incorporated into their still existing structures, they still exist, still to tell a tale, a proof, if not legacy, of their past existence. Yet what became of these people? Presumably the lucky ones who survived. With incredible knowledge, yet suddenly incredibly limited technological abilities, ergo, a sudden lacking in the ability to move in some cases, and in many more, to now precisely cut these enormous stones, thus antediluvian stone choices, and their finish, although appearing younger, could in fact actually be earlier works. Yet this still surviving knowledge could have aided in what became Neolithic man in their own seemingly impossible ancient feats not just setting the megaliths aloft, but to have carved and carried them over great distances. How else could this so-called Neolithic group design Stonehenge, for example, a now proven, once perfect solar calendar, if it were not created by a group possessing great re-existing knowledge, a group who possibly somehow survived cataclysm? How could Neolithic man, with supposed stone tools, have aligned such perfectly erected multi-ton megalithic sites? How could one have cut them, transported them? How could they have created such dolmens as that of Dolmen de Soto? First documented in New World History in 1922 by Armando de Soto Marias, who wanted to build a house on his own land, an estate, which was known as La Lobita within Spain. In 1924, German archaeologist Hugo Obermeier was asked to perform excavational research by the Duke of Alba, Jacobo Fitzjames Stewart. He discovered eight bodies, each buried in a fetal position, accompanied by artifacts. Yet what we find incredible in regard to this, and indeed the countless other inexplicable Neolithic sites, dolmens, menhirs, and hinges found all over the globe, is the inclusion of stones weighing many hundreds, sometimes thousands of tons in weight, incorporated into the builds, and in particular, within the Dolmen de Soto. The question remains, how did these supposed Stone Age primitive people accomplish such tasks, if not using applied knowledge? It is a question which we find highly compelling.